Okay, hello there viewers. So this is a series where I give you the question in the description down below. You can download it. And you may try it by yourself. And I'm doing a solution for the question where my students find it to be very challenging. Okay? You may try it by yourself first. So if you're ready, let's begin. Okay, uh, I might forget to tell you something. It's an inverted conical tank. So it means upside down. Okay, so yeah. So water is leaking at the rate of 0 0.25 meter cube per minute. Okay, so this one here it means basically dvdt. So you're given at the early stage of dvdt, and then you were told that radius is uh, 1.5 and the height is 2 2 meter. The tank is initially full if the height is if the height is water is 1 meter, find the rate of change of the water level and the radius of water surface. Okay, uh, water level I can also say it as H. So here the rate of change of water level will be dH dt. And the radius there will be dr dt. Okay, so let's begin. Firstly, you're given that fact of the the water is sticking so dvdt and i would like to highlight here there's a minus why is it a minus because it's leaking anything that's reducing then it will automatically you need to have a minus over there all right and then if we draw the cone we got it something like that with the R is a 1.5, H is 2 meter. I think I better describe it, describe it here. Okay, so we want to find the RDT. Oh, sorry, the HDT for the first part. And I write down here, I declare it as something and something. So basically, I'm splitting up the HDT, the H over something, and something over DT. I'm replacing it with a dv. Why am I replacing with a dv? Because we are given dv dt. Okay, so make our life simple. And then we need to find what can we substitute inside there. Okay, so you want to find, okay, let's say dv dh over there. So you need to find the volume. So find this equation of volume. But there's a slight problem there because there's a r and h. There are two variables there, R and H. Why do I say there's two variables? Because firstly, it's not constant. The value of R and H keep on changing. Okay, look here very carefully. If I say the H is here, then the R is here. If I say to you, the H is here, sorry, then the R is here. So the value of R and value keep on changing depending on the value of H. So that's why there are two variables. If a cylinder is different story, no matter what's the... Let me just make a short one. If a cylinder, no matter what value of R, no matter what the value of H, R will always be constant. So for the cone, it's a bit different. Okay, so if there are two variables, what should you do? My advice is you need to substitute one of them. How are you going to substitute one of them? You need to find a second equation. Okay, since I know the value of R and H, I can make it into a ratio equation. Okay, the ratio R and H. And I want to substitute my R inside the equation. So let me just ask you, why do I want to substitute this one? Why do I want to substitute R? Why don't I do it this way instead? Why don't I do H equals to 4 over 3? Why I don't substitute this one? Why not this one? Because if I substitute this, and my R is still going to be there. What's wrong with my if my R is still going to be there? Because I want the HDV, remember? I want the HDV. So I want to differentiate to the respect of H. Not that I want to differentiate to the respect of R. So I want the R to be disappear. Okay? So once I substitute it, I got myself into that. And now as you can see, there's only one variable. And then only I can easily differentiate it. So I differentiate it to dvdh, I got that. Okay? 
Now I only ask and then we continue with our DHDT. We substitute everything inside. And I would like to stress a little bit here that this one here, you need to flip. Why do I need to flip? Because this one is DVDH. Here is DVDH. Here is DV. This sorry, yeah, the one that we want to substitute is DHDV, but we got ourselves set DVDH. So you need to flip. Be very very careful about it. All right. So once we substitute inside DVDT, we already given. You got that. Okay. Then the next part is says the question says. Uh, if the height is uh, water level as one meter, okay. So you need to substitute. You substitute your h as one, and easily you got it. Okay, both equations will be quite fine. That's how you solve the part A. The part B you can do it similarly to part A. The only major difference is that instead of the h d t, I want to find it in the r d t. Okay. And similarly as well, I'm not going to explain too long here. They still have two equations, but in this case, we are substituting the h this time. Because this time, if I substitute h, I got r and I can do dvdr in this case. Unlike the first part, we do d d dvdh. <coughs> Why do I want to do r? Because, yeah. Because I want to find here. You can see? DVDR. Alright. <coughs> Sorry about that. Alright, so now you substitute things inside. And as what we did just now, do not forget, we need to flip. Okay. Alright, now there's a little tiny bit problem. Well, it says here when h is equals to 1. But if you look into the equation, if you want to substitute, there's no h. There's only r. Uh, what should we do? Well, simply just take this value and sub inside here. Once you sub inside there, you got yourself the value of r. And once you got the value of r, easily substitute into the equation. Ta-da! As simple as that. Yeah, it's a bit tricky. Be careful. And that's your answer. Either you want to give your answer in this way or that way. Both are fine by me. Okay, this is how you solve it in one way. You can also solve it in alternative method. Okay? Alternatively, okay, we want to find the RDT and how do we solve it. Let me give you a bit of a clue. From part A, we got ourselves the HDT. And I want to find DRDT. What can I do? Well, we're not doing something over something, but it's almost over there. So in this case, I can write down something like this. Okay, DRDT. Instead of doing that something or something in this way, we're doing the other way around. Okay, so we got here DH from part A. Okay, DHDT. So over here, I can write down as DH. Okay, so that's we can find this equation. Dr dt uh, time equals to dh over dt dr over dh. And remember dh dt we got it from our part A. All right. So let's continue. Uh, but how do I find dr dh? Well, I can make equation of r where the subject is h. Okay, from the height just now we got from the first part. And this one here, you can differentiate to the respect of h. If I were to differentiate it, what will I get? I'll get into something like this. Okay? Now you know dr dh, you can substitute inside the equation easily. Now you can substitute inside there. And ta-da! Just substitute inside, you got everything. And you know h is equals to 1. And simply substitute things out, you get the answers. Okay? So yeah, this is a far neater and faster way, and I'll be honest with you, I did not find through the alternative method either. <laughs> I got it nice to look at the solution. Oh, there's a far better, faster way. All right, uh, what happened if you do not see this way? Don't worry, just do as what we did just now, and you still get full marks. Okay, so that's all. Thank you for listening, and yeah.
Bye. Please comment and share. Please comment, share, like, subscribe down below. Give me a comment down below. And you look at the question the way I put in the description. If there's any question that pique your interest, you do not know how to solve, just drop a comment down below and I try to make a video explanation for you. Okay, that's all. Thank you for watching. Bye. All the best for your exams.